What is going on everybody? My name is Nico and welcome back to another Pokemon Scarlet Violet VGC Series 2 video. Today I am still sick, uh, which you can probably tell from my voice. Um, so we're going to be talking about Parashong in Series 2 because at the Orlando Regionals, uh, Wolf won with a really, really cool team featuring Screamtail and Gothitelle and Fluttermane and it was a Parashong Parish Trap team. Um, and I think a lot of people have become slightly worried about the increase in teams that would be running this because there were other pokemon actually and other teams that were running parish song uh i believe i want to say this team had it no it didn't i know there's one somewhere in here let me maybe this team there it is parish song so parish song is just becoming more and more common right uh and it's a really really difficult type of team to play because it requires a lot of strategy a lot of rotation um, and a lot of just understanding what your Pokemon are likely, what the opponent's Pokemon are likely going to do. It's not something that you could just throw on a team and have immediate success with, like Wolf. But today I want to talk about specifically how to counter this, just because I know people are getting worried about this. So, if this is your first time here on the channel, make sure you are sub for more videos like this. In the future, I post daily competitive Pokemon content, and we're trying to hit the goal of 5,000 subs by July this year. So, let's get into it. So, I briefly want to talk about Wolf's team, because I thought it was really, really interesting, right? So we have uh, Screamtail, Palafin, Fluttermane, uh, Arcanine, Amoongus, and uh, Gothitelle. And this is a pretty standard idea for a Parasong team. You know, you got two Parasong users, and you've got a Pokemon with Shadow Tag that is able to lock in the opposing Pokemon. And it's just a really, really interesting strategy because it requires so much extra thought. If you look at the style of the team here, you know, Screamtail is really interesting because you're using booster energy to be faster than most of the Pokemon. You're able to use Parasong, Play Rough is on there, and Disable is really interesting because it allows you to shut down like Specs users uh, or any choice item user uh, pretty early. You're able to shut down just a lot of really powerful moves that might be good into your team because the idea of Parasong is you want to stall as long as possible, which is why things like Amoongus fit really well onto this team. You're able to Rage Powder Spore, Pollen Puff to boost your Pokemon's health back up. Arcanine's really nice for Will-O-Wisp and Intimidate Pressure. You're able to make the opposing Pokemon weaker so they can't knock you out as effectively. Gothitelle with Shadow Tag locks the Pokemon in unless they're like a Ghost type or something like that. It's just a really, really fantastic team honestly palafin's really like the one interesting variable here and i think it was such a smart pick because the main gimmick with palafin is you have to rotate it out so what makes a lot of sense is turn one leading something like fluttermane or screamtail turn one using parish song if the opportunity presents itself rotating palafin out into something like gothitelle and then everything's locked into parish song right i think it's a really interesting strategy because then you have something very powerful like palafin hero form in the back that is able to clean up what you couldn't finish with parish song so it's a really really um unique and interesting pokemon to include on a parish song team that just makes a lot of sense but i'm here today to talk about countering this because you know we did talk about you know uh, this is going to start popping up more people see stuff that performs very well and they try to mimic it um i don't think it's going to be as terrible as everyone thinks i know a lot of people are very worried about this um simply because of the fact that like um it, it, it won and it's it's kind of annoying to play against if you're not prepared for it um and i've even seen it quite a bit recently on the showdown ladder like there's just a lot of people using it um and even before the orlando regionals i was seeing a fair bit of it on the ladder because it's just something that's uh really it's kind of interesting to play it's not really my cup of tea but i think it is a really solid archetype for a team if performed well but there's some things to know right so gothitelle's main thing is shadow tag like we talked about earlier it doesn't allow you to switch out so that means after you perish song you can lock in the opposing pokemon things that get around this are things like u-turn or um u-turn users or volt switch users um anything like that is going to be really really beneficial because you're able to rotate out and you're not locked in by the shadow tag which is really smart but then you have other pokemon as well that just avoid shadow tag altogether things like this are any ghost type in the game ghost types are just completely ignored um by a uh, shadow tag shadow tag just doesn't affect them i think this was added in like gen 7 or something like that um but ghost types just ignore uh, the existence of this which is really really good that makes like gold dangles really oppressive into that or other things uh like uh flutter mains very oppressive into it uh, so you have some valid options going in and handling this uh just off the bat but you have to also consider that parasong is a sound move which is something that is really prevalent in series 2 specifically uh because there's a pokemon right now that's running around with a, a way to simply counter that altogether uh that pokemon being roaring moon right roaring moon runs throat chop throat chop 
automatically bops away sound moves you can't use sound moves for two turns that means two turns whatever pokemon they wanted to use perish Lung with is unable to do so on top of this it plays very well with the flying terror type um into got the tell as well as scream tail because you're able to go in and do pretty effective damage uh the big thing with this you have to worry about is like a play rough if you're not tearing um, but if you're just worried about like a Gothitelle on the field and they've already switched out their Screamtail user, you're able to go in with a Rory Moon and do really big damage with Throat Chops to Gothitelle, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, Throat Chop is just a super, super good way to shut that down immediately. Uh, another Pokemon that I feel is just fantastic into Parish Song teams is something like Goldango. Uh, Goldango is fantastic because of one, the good is gold ability. This is just really, really solid into this because of the fact that it can't be affected by Parasong at all. Now, ghost types can still be hit by Parasong. This is something you have to understand. Ghost types are still affected by Parasong. So in three turns after Parasong is used, they will still faint. However, they are not locked in by Shadow Tag. So that means even if they use Parasong, you can rotate that Pokemon out and you'll be perfectly fine. Um, the good is gold ability allows you to sit in uh, and avoid Parish Song altogether so you don't have to worry about it. And then also the ghost typing allows you to rotate out. Very, very solid strategy. So you're able to go in with Make It Rains, especially into something like Screamtail. Screamtail is not going to like taking to Make It Rain, despite its really strong special defensive stats. You're just really not going to enjoy taking uh, Steel type uh, attacks from this pokemon even if you're terra steel make it rain still does pretty significant damage to uh scream tail so you're able to just kind of spam make it rains over and over and over um and then rotate out once you get your special attack lowered enough that you feel it's worth doing so goldango is another really solid option um like i mentioned earlier uh things with volt switch are really solid so things like iron hands are really nice uh, because they have access to Volt Switch, and it's a very common move on this Pokemon anyways, you're able to get out. The one thing you have to be worried about is got to tell Psychics. Um, those are going to do pretty significant damage to you, or if like the uh, Parish Song user is a Fluttermane, worrying about Moonblast or Dazzling Gleams is another thing you have to consider. But this Pokemon plays fairly decently into it, and you can also go in and like fake out and do things of that nature. Um, pretty solid option. Ironically enough, uh, Gothitelle is actually a good counter to opposing Trick Rooms. Uh, simply because of the fact that you're able to go in and shadow tag the opposing pokemon right they want to shadow tag you to keep your pokemon in however you could do the exact same thing and shadow tag them and all pokemon go down and then you have a easy um 2v2 situation right uh if they want to sacrifice those pokemon that's fine they're able to do so but you're able to uh counter that exactly and be like hey if you want to perish song everything's going down here so it's another valid option especially with fake out pressure and things like that um a really solid bulkier option to handling um a parish song setup which i think is really uh something that you saw quite a bit of at san diego not san diego excuse me orlando um for example you see a lot of these teams here have parish song users that may be well not parish song users but shadow tag users that may not feature parish song right so like this team here not featuring Parish Song, but has Shadow Tag to make you question, hey, do I really want to activate Parish Song and risk taking out these two Pokemon? And like I mentioned at the top of the video, this is just a very difficult archetype to play because there's so much rotation happening throughout the course of the battle. And if you make one bad rotation, you can really throw off your rhythm and kind of mess up what you were doing with Parish Song. Um, and people like Wolf, who have played this game for years and are masters at their craft, uh, they can play this archetype very very well however lower level players aren't going to be able to play this as effectively so that is a, just another variable to consider that you don't have to worry quite as much about this being so good um because it takes such a high skill level in order to play but that is really going to be it for this video guys i just kind of wanted to briefly talk about this again because i'm sick and recording a ladder video or something like that for more than 10 to 15 minutes sounds abysmal uh so i hope you all found the video entertaining and helpful and if you did leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this in the future also be sure to check out the discord where people over there playing pokemon all the time and if you want to see more from me check out this video where i talk about talent flame and why i think it's definitely going to be one of the better tailwind setters if not like the best tied with roaring moon tailwind setters in series two uh just a really solid pokemon right now and then also check out this other video where i hit the ladder with a parish song team and had quite a bit of success so really fun stuff but until next time peace